Hello and welcome to the 30k channel, a channel dedicated to games set in the Horus Heresy. I'm your host, David Brains, and what a treat we have for you today. I am joined by Ben and Wes. Good morning, gentlemen. Morning. Good morning. Now, what an exciting day. Wes, you've brought us Ravenwing. I certainly have. Dark Angels. Yes. Amazing. First Legion. Yeah, yeah, really looking forward to this. It's a channel first, so we're really pleased to showcase this amazing army. And Ben, now some of you may or may not know Ben, but you'll know his work. Uh, ben does all the social media for the channel, so he's been a really great help in getting us out there and 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 spamming Facebook. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> but it needs to happen, and you brought us your really awesome and freshly finished Alpha Legion. Yeah, literally last night, done the last few bases. Yeah. Had some help from some friends. Um, thank you very much. 1K Sun, Dan Wheeler. Excellent. Painting my saboteur. And Pete Whitlam for having me around all day Friday. Um, yeah, good day. So we're all set, ready to go, aren't we? Yeah. Now, gents, there's a um, there's a lot of models on the table, aren't there? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, you know, from Ben, from your perspective, you've got a lot of sneaky, outflanky coming in. Uh, my vets usually outflank. Um, I'm, my, my terminators will be deep striking. Mm -hmm. I've got my saboteur likes to come on and blow stuff up. Yeah. Um, the rest of it usually stays on the board and shoots from afar. Uh, but yeah, hoping to to try and outflank the outflankers. That's good. And and Wes, you know, you've got a really unique army for a start. Lots of bikes. There's not an infantry in sight, is no, there? Not at all. All bikes all the way. Absolutely. And you've got some sneaky rules as well. Do you want to tell us about those? Yes, yeah, so the Ravenwing Pro School got uh, Search and Destroy, which allows my skimmers and my jet bikes to leave the table and then come on from that uh, ongoing reserve next turn, outflanking. Awesome. So it's uh, Knights of All charging from the flank. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And before we before we started the game today, we, we, we talked about the aspect shells that you're that you're running as well. Yep. So can you just tell us how we're going to operate those? Yeah, so for each model we'll roll a d6 and that'll tell us what uh, AP that is and then we'll roll them to hit and then to wound, yeah. uh, wounding on a two against uh, uh, with poison. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So it, it might be a little bit longer, and we'll probably do the first couple of rounds of shooting, uh, you know, rolling all the dice, and after that we'll just cut it, mm. and then we'll just talk about it afterwards just to kind of save a little bit of time because it could That's get good. quite arduous there at some point. Um, a couple of units I want to pick out, three Dreadnoughts. Yeah, I love them. Uh, if I could, oh, I'd love to play the Dreadnought Right of War. Mm. Um the the ancient one I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it's I, I just love dreadnoughts. They're great. Um, I, I love carries and yeah. chain fists. A lot of shots. <laughs> yeah, I like just putting the dice down. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. not? And also, you know, you've got quite a heavy volkite contingent, haven't you? Again, I love just chucking dice down um, against models. I think that's what wins games, mm. um, as well as tactics, obviously. But I lack them, so <laughs> I uh, I just like throwing buckets of dice. Why so not? Carries and volkites. That's a good reason. Uh, and where's you know two Xiphons here? Yeah, I'm, I just love the, the aesthetic of the two two flyers. Yeah, I just wanted something a little bit different from uh, from bikes and jet bikes or anything. So mm. it just kind of fitted the theme I could really go for. I'm quite restricted on what I can take with this army, so yeah. it's uh, it just seemed like an, an easy option. It's very thematic with the, the air support, the, 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 the mm. control in the air as well as the ground, uh, and they just they look great with them. Yeah, yeah they look good. Really looking forward to the game today. We're playing a Hammer and Anvil deployment and we're playing Shatter Strike. So essentially, you've got to get a unit inside the opponent's deployment zone. Scoring mm. units are worth two, yep. denials are worth one. Yep. You know, you've both got huge amounts of maneuverability. Mm. Uh, I think it's going to be quite an interesting game. You know, where's, what's, your, what's your sort of plan here? Uh, I just want to tie him up for the first few turns, then sort of um, take him out of position so he then can't get into my deployment zone. Okay, all right, good tactic. And Ben, what, what are you going to go for? Well, with the outflanking, it helps me a lot. So I can be there. I've just got to stay there. Yeah. Um, and then obviously to need to the home guys trying to keep him away from, from my deployment zone. Yeah, it, it's going to be a really interesting game. You know, Wes has got a lot of topless five, two of armor. You've got a lot of shots coming out as well, I think. Yeah. And those Xiphons will be good for the tanks and maybe the, the, the uh, Dreadnoughts. I'm really hoping so. <laughs> 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 and Ben, like you said, you know, you've got a lot of dice. That's a lot of, you, you know, forcing Wes to make a, either a jink save or a, lots of wound saves. Yeah. Uh, saves. It's the way to kill things. I mean, everyone's always scared of Terminators, but they die to wait to fire. Yeah. You, you chuck enough dice at them, they'll start rolling ones. Yeah. And that's how you get rid of them. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. You've, you've brought me two really, really lovely armies and two great guys. Hopefully you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm looking forward to this game. Uh, currently, Alpha Legion are going first. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Excellent. Looking forward to that. And you're hoping for a Seize, Wes, or? Every time. 
Every yeah. time. Oh, I like I it. I always get seized on, it seems like, so you probably will. Okay. <laughs> All right, looking forward to this. We're going to go straight into lists, and then we'll see you at the beginning of turn one. 3,000 points of Alpha Legion, led by Armourless Dynat, using the Pride of the Legion Right of War. He's taking the Hammer Strike Assault Warlord trait, which allows one unit to deep strike and to re-roll the Scatter Dice when doing so. HQ is led by Armourless Dynat, accompanied with a Saboteur Centurion. Three Elite slots, two Contemptor Mortis Dreadnoughts with Carey's Assault Cannons, and one Contemptor Talon with a Power Fist and Chain Fist. The Melter Gun is in the Power Fist, and the Bolter in the Chain Fist. The final elite slot is taken up by three Apothecaries, all armed with Artificer Armour and Power Swords. There are three veteran tactical squads as troops. They all have an Apothecary in each from the elite slot. Sergeant is armed with Power Fist and Power Dagger. I have three Combi Plasma, one Combi Flamer and a Plasma Gun in each squad. They all come in a Rhino, which is armed with Dozer Blade and Multi Melter. The fourth troop's choice is taken up by nine tactical support squads armed with Volkite Culverins. The fifth troop's choice is a five-man Linnaean Terminator squad. Sergeant is armed with Chain Fist and Power Dagger. Another Lernaean Terminator has a Heavy Flamer. Another Terminator has a Chain Fist. Two fast attack choices, both Javelins with Multi Melter and Cyclone Missile Launcher. The first heavy support slot is taken up by a Predator with a Plasma Executioner Cannon and a Dozer Blade. The final heavy support slot is taken by a nine man Volkite Culverin Heavy Support Squad. 3,000 points of Dark Angels with the Ravenwing Protocol Right of War. The Praetor has the Child of Terror Warlord trait, which allows me to reroll ones to wound in combat for his entire unit. Dark Angel HQ, uh, we have the Praetor armed with a Tyrannic Greatsword. He also has digital weapons. Uh, he's riding the, the jet bike with the Monomoleca Acid Shells. He also has Rad Grenades and uh, Melt Bombs. So we also have the Chaplain next to him. He's got the Crozus Arcanum, and uh, he's also riding jet bike and the Primaris Medica, who's armed with a Calibrite Warblade. The Praetor is assisted by a command squad. They are armed with monomolecular acid shells on their jet bikes, and they also have power weapons. The Dark Angels have four troop choices consisting of the Outrider squads, uh, three Marines on bikes with twin-leaked plasma guns. The Sergeant is upgraded to a Calibrite Warblade, the sergeant also has rad grenades and a melter bomb. The Dark Angel's uh, fifth troop choice is a jet bike sky hunter squadron consisting of three marines on jet bikes. The sergeant is upgraded to a calibrite warblade, melter bombs and rad grenades. The Dark Angel's first fast attack choice is javelin attack squadron uh, consisting of three uh, javelin attack speeders with heavy bolters, twin light cyclone missile launchers. The Dark Angel's remaining fast attack choices are taken up by two Xiphon Interceptors armed with the Xiphon Rotary Missile Launcher and Grand Attack Auguries. Two of the Dark Angel heavy support slots are taken up by Jet Bike Sky Slayer support squadrons consisting of three Jet Bikes. The Sergeant is upgraded to a Calibrite Warblade and Rad Grenades. They are all armed with Multi Melters. We are, we're deployed, ready to go. Alpha Legion versus Dark Angels. Gents, I'm really excited for this. Yeah, yeah, we are too. Oh, Great stuff. Have we decided who's sort of trailer and who's loyalist? Or Well, it's always up in the air with Dark Angels and Alpha Legion. Don't know who's doing what. Uh, at the minute, Alpha Legion are traitors. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good stuff. And uh, Alpha Legion are going first. Is that right, Ben? Yeah, and I hope it stays that way. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you want the Cs? I certainly do. All right, lovely stuff. Let's have a friendly handshake. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck, gents. And let's see who goes first. Ooh. As far away as, it, as we possibly could be. <laughs> I'm really glad that I'm going first. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> yeah, Alpha Legion turn one. Alpha Legion turn one movement. Move my dreadnoughts up slightly. 
um, the two carries I've positioned to for the next turn to use the helical targeting array, hopefully on anything outflanking or the planes coming in. Uh, the Volkites have stayed still. Uh, the Javelins have moved up uh, to the middle uh, just to try and get some shots off. The Predator moves to the right slightly. He's going to get a Plasma Blast on some jet bikes further downfield. Alpha Legion turn one shooting. The Volkite Culverins are going to shoot at the Raven Wing Javelins. Six of them can see. Four shots each, hitting on twos with Armourless Dynat's Cognix Signum. Fives are glancing. Couple ones in there. Hitting on twos, so four misses. 20 hits, fives are glances, six are penetrating. The Javelins get a four up cover save anyway, they don't need to jink. All right, it's quite a few. Wow, it's loads of sixes. That is. Five penetrating and two glances. You got four up uh, cover save. Do you want to do your pens first? Uh, there's five pens. Wow, two go through. Two go through, that's two whole points gone on. Yeah, okay. And then two glances. Got five. Oh, can't. Cool. So just two, two penetrating hits. So that's one speed of gone. The Predator Executioner has fired at the Raven Jet Bikes. They elected to jink. I hit three of them. So I'm just going to roll to wound now. Twos to wound. So three AP2, please. Uh, three jinx and four. One guy dies. The uh, Jetbike Skyslayer squad had to take a leadership check there for losing 30% casualties. Uh, great news, they actually passed. The Javelin are shooting at the Ravenwing Command Squad. Two Cyclone missile shots, twin linked. Hitting on threes. Two hit. And it's twos to wound. Two wounds. Two plus armor saves, and then feel no pain. Oh, it's cocked. One guy dies. The javelin is shooting his twin cyclone missile launchers at the jet bikes hiding behind the rock. Hitting on threes, twin linked. Two hit, two to wound. Double one. Wow. Alpha Legion overview. Just a few pot shots at the Raven Wing player. Took a couple jet bikes down, but not really much to talk about at the moment. Hoping to do some more wounds the next turn when they're a bit closer. Dark Angels, turn one movement. The two Sky Slayer support squads have moved off the table to come in from outflank next turn and uh, ambush the Alpha Legion. The command squad has moved up to the center of the table to uh, bring firepower down onto the Alpha Legion. The Javelin land speeders have also moved up to get into range of the Alpha Legion and the further jet bike squad has gone to the right flank to uh, press home against the Alpha Legion. Dark Angels uh, shooting turn one. So you have the monomolecular acid shells shooting at the Alpha Legion in cover. So first we'll find out what uh, AP values the three guys have. So we have AP1 and AP3 so that'll make a difference and then an AP5. So six shots, which will ignore armor. Hitting on threes, two miss, and then wounding on twos. So four cover saves to make. Yep, four five up cover saves. Four die. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then these ones where you get your armor safe, hitting on threes, three hit, wounding on twos, three wounds. Three armor three, saves. Two three ups. Two more die, so six dead in total from that squad. Continuing the Dark Angels at turn one shooting. The command squad opened up on the Dynat squad in cover. Uh, the wounds at the end resulted in five AP1 wounds and six uh, armor saves to make, wiping out the entire squad. Including the Warlord. Great. Dark Angels javelin shooting at the Alpha Legion javelin. One's hitting in cover, hitting on twos, twin linked. Two hits, one pen, one four up, save. The one uh, not getting a cover save, hitting on twos. Would you like to drink? Yes. Winning on three, uh, penetrating on threes. So one more four up. Oh, sorry. Save. Great shirt turn of shooting from the Dark Angels there with the monomolecular acid shells taking out the entire squad of uh, the Volkites uh, with the Warlords as well, so I'm really happy with that. 
and also making his uh, javelin chink. Alpha Legion turn to movement. My reserves have come on, all three vet squads and the saboteur. Saboteur has come on and he does an automatic penetrating hit. Uh, he chose to do it on the javelin squadron. Um, it was AP1 in his deployment zone. And he managed to score a whole point and shake the javelin. The veterans have come on, the rhinos have come on, one, one on one side, two on the other. Got out, hoping to plasma the jet bikes a lot off the table. Uh, and then my guys over in my deployment zone have pushed up just to try and take some shots on the command squad in the middle. Alpha Legion turn two shooting. The plasma predator is shooting at the command squad. They've elected to jink and there will be some lookout sirs. I've hit five of them and I just need twos to wound. So that's five wounds. So lookout sirs. All of that. And then four ups. Three wounds. Now three feel no pain on a five up. Only one dies in the end. The outflanking vet squad have unloaded all of their plasma shots into the command squad. Uh, they've elected to jink uh, and we'll be doing some lookout sir rolls. Uh, they hit quite a few times, uh, managed to do eight AP2 wounds and one normal wound. So Wes is now going to shoot, now going to roll his saves. So lookout sir makes it. Warp jink, that's good. Lookout sir makes it. Warp jink. Lookout sir makes it. Warp jink. Lookout sir fails it. Warp jink. Fails it, feel no pain. He fails to feel no pain. So he's down to one wound. Look out, sir. Makes it. Four up jink. Cocked. Fails it, feel no pain. That's that guy died. This command squad member is dead. So three remaining shots going on to the apothecary. And he is three up jinks. Fails them. Look out, sirs. A correction. Feel no pains. One feel no pain is saved, and the two wounds go on him. He's now dead. Unfortunately, the apothecary died, and one wound spilled over into the prayer tool. I have one more armor save to make on the prayer tool on a two up, and he's fine. The other outflanking vet squad have unloaded into the command squad. Uh, they can only see the praetor, so they're going to try and kill him. Uh, after shooting, I've managed to do five AP2 wounds and three AP5 wounds. Uh, Wes is going to jink. Uh, he won't be able to look out there because there's nothing near him. Unfortunately, one of my plasma gunners killed himself, even with the five up feel no pain. Uh, but he did get one shot off before he died. So Wes is going to take his saves now. So your three normal ones, please. Two ups. So the Praetor has two wins left. Saving on twos. And then four up saves to make the rest. And he dies. The Alpha Legion Javelin had a shot at the command squad with his multi-melter and cyclone missile launchers. Hit a few times, but didn't manage to do any wounds. The Contempt of Dreadnought had a shot with his bolter, but again, didn't do anything. Uh, I'm going to have a measure, but I don't think I can charge. But if I can, I'm going to have a go. The Alpha Legion squads outflanking on this side of the board are going to shoot at the jet bikes. They are jinking. Uh, they've unloaded the plasma. I've done four AP2 wounds and three AP5 wounds. So Wes is going to jink his AP2 wounds now. Four four ups. Uh, two dying, and then three two ups to make. So one guy's left. Leadership check for the jet bikes requiring eight. They pass. So this outflanking saboteur has come on and he's going to have a shot with his combi melter at the javelin squadron. Uh, so it's twos to hit. Hit. And it's threes to glance on 2d6 because of armor bane. So it's penetrated. Wes has got a four plus jink. He jinks it. Oh yes. The outflanking rhino is going to shoot his multi melter into the same javelin squad. So threes to hit. And 2d6 penetration, he twos to glance. So one pen, four up jink. jink. Goes oh, through. It. So it's plus two on the damage tar, uh, but it's actually plus one because I get plus one in the deployment zone, so it's, uh, it blows up. Alpha Legion turn overview. Uh, the vet squads have done what they do best, which is come on and delete units, or at least help delete units. Managed to do a lot to the jet bikes on the right flank, took out a javelin there in the middle. These two vet squads here did a lot of damage to the command squad, including taking the Warlord and the Primus Medicae out. So it's great news. Uh, the guys, the Marines in the middle, have shot up the middle of the table. Uh, did a little bit of damage here and there, but nothing great. Uh, and the two Mortis Dreadnoughts have gone into Helical Targeting Array to hopefully prevent any flyers coming into my zone next 
turn. But otherwise, otherwise, yeah, really good turn. Really happy with that. Dark Angels turn two movement. The uh, jet bike squad flew off the table into ongoing reserve, as long with the javelin squad. We have the Xiphon deep strike, and he hits. Continuing up the table, we had the Sky Slayer squad come in from outflank, ready to shoot the Dreadnought. And then for the, the mass firepower on this flank here to take out the veterans from the Alpha Legion, we had three bike squads come in and one Slayer squad. And we've got the Chaplain and the, the Banner Bearer ready to charge. The Dreadnoughts are going to use their helical targeting array to fire at the Sky Squadron. Uh, the left one uh, is going to fire first. It's sixes to hit. So one hit, and it's fives, no, sorry, threes to wound. So one normal save there. And two up armor save. One guy dies. So the next dreadnought is going to fire his six shots as well. And they're sixes to hit. No hits. Unfortunately, losing the, uh, the Dark Angels Sky Slayer Sergeant required a leadership check, and I fell back 12 inches uh, towards my board edge. Dark Angels turn two shooting. Starting with the Xiphon targeting the Plasma Predator. Laz Cannons hitting on twos. Both hit. Glancing on fours. Two pens. And that's at AP2. Uh, explodes. Wow. Go on. The Fleeing Dark Angels jet bike took a snapshot at the Contemptor and missed. An epic start for the uh, ambush from the Raven Wing there. The Sky Slayers came in, blew up the Rhino. However, in the ensuing explosion, I managed to put uh, one wound on each of my squads and lost uh, a biker in each of the two uh, Outrider squads and one in the Sky Slayer squad. So I've got leadership checks to do for the, the bike squad. The first bike squad, leadership nine. He fails. The Sky Slayer squad is fine. And the, the final one, close to the board edge, leadership nine is passed. So how far does he go? The furthest bike squad goes 14 inches. Unfortunately, this is where the, the bike squad ended up, a few inches for the edge of the board. Uh, one thing to note as well, I did kill one Alpha Legion Legionnaire. Continuing with the Raven Wing ambush, the retreating bikers took uh, snapshots at the squad of Legionnaires. Unfortunately, one of the guys overheated and died. Uh, continuing shooting with the other two man bike squad, I killed two Legionnaires and caused them to run. I also took two shots with the uh, jet bike squad. Unfortunately, with the uh, the six to hit, I missed on both. Dark Angels third outrider squad took uh, plasma shots at the second legionnaire squad, killing four uh, legionnaires in the process and a leadership check, which they passed. Dark Angels turn to assault phase. We have the chaplain's jet bike squad uh, charging the fleeing Alpha Legion unit here. Now, quite a unique uh, position in the rules now. If I make it in because they've failed their leadership check the uh, unit instantly die so i need to roll six on 2d6 yes got a nine they're gone dark angel turn two summary uh, this side of the, the board i'm really happy with i've got uh, presence over here and i think i'm going to hold this next turn in with just that one alpha legion unit to worry about however his deployment zone is looking pretty sparse to me right now and i think that's bike's going to get it next turn Alpha Legion, turn three movement. Saboteur has pushed up a little bit. The veterans have got back into the Rhino and just moved up six. Going to take a pot shot at the Xiphon. The Dread and the Javelin have moved up into the center of the board. Again, having pot shots at the Xiphon. The Contemptor here is going to just unload into that one jet bike, hopefully killing him. This uh, Dreadnought here is going into helical targeting array, hopefully just uh, preventing Wes's Raven Guard, Raven Wing, sorry, coming on. The Javelin has moved up, can take some pot shots at those bikes, alongside the Volkites who have moved as well, they'll be snapshotting because they're heavy weapons. And this veteran uh, unit here, they've got a bit of their choice. So if these bikes manage to snuff it from the rest of the shooting, they'll turn around and they'll shoot at the command squad. The Rhino is going to have a pot shot at the fleeing bike, hopefully just removing that unit from play. Alpha Legion turn two shooting. The Rhino had a pot shot with his multi-melter, uh, missed, uh, but the Xiphon is jinking. Uh, the Javelin also had a pot shot as well, uh, missed again. Uh, the Javelin here is going to shoot at the Outrider squad. Um, they have elected to jink also. So multi melter first, twos, and twin linked cyclone missile launchers, both hit. 
and twos to wound. Two AP three wounds. Right, covers. One guy dies. The Volkite squad are shooting at the Outrider motorbike squad. Uh, two of them didn't move, so they're firing normally. The rest are snapshotting. So these are threes to hit. Three hit. And these are sixes to hit. And that's four more hit. So there's strength six, bike's tough as five, so it's threes to wound. So we've got five saves there, please. Five three ups. One third of the biker dies. And with Volkite um, deflagrate rule, so I don't get to wound again. So one more wound, please. Three up. Saved. The Alpha Legion veteran squad uh, bolt pistoled the last Outrider bike to death. They were going to charge him, but unfortunately he's now dust. The uh, Rhino is going to shoot his multi-melter at the fleeing Outrider Sergeant. So threes to hit. Now chink. And twos to wound. So one jink, please. Four up. He dies. Final act of the Alpha Legion shoot phase is just to run the Contemptor Dreadnought four inches forwards. Alpha Legion turn three assault phase. The Contemptor used his helical targeting array last turn, so he couldn't shoot. Uh, but he's now going to charge your jet bike, so if you can do your overwatch, please. For the lion, I've got this one. <laughs> so I roll for distance, which I'm sure will be fine, so I'm in. So because you're fleeing, if you take the leadership test, please. I need an eight. Makes it on the fall. So I'll go in as normal and we'll fight the assault phase. The contemptors charged in, so hammer of a wrath, wound on a two. One wound, one save, please. Two up. It's fine. And then he gets four attacks on the charge. Uh, hitting on fours, one hit, <laughs> two's to wound, one wound please. Two up. Oh, oh wow, no. that's amazing. Um, yeah, really good news for me. <laughs> so consolidate uh, D6 inches, that's a five. Alpha Legion overview of my turn three. Um, I'm quite happy with it, managed to finish off uh, three squads. Uh, but I know he's got more coming on the next turn, so hopefully I can weather the storm and start doing some damage with some of my dreads because I haven't really done much this turn. Dark Angels turn three movement phase. Lots of trickery going on here. So we've got the outflanking bikes coming in to take on the, the Volkite chargers. We've also got the other uh, flyer that's came in, the Xiphon, a deep struck. He's scattered slightly, but uh, he's still perfect position for, uh, for shooting. We've got the additional uh, jet bike loaned by himself. Uh, next to him, we've got the Chaplain and the Banner Bearer, just to overtaken the, the Legionnaires, while they tighten the noose with the other bikes uh, coming in from the rear this time. And we also had the Javelin outflanking from the, the right-hand side there, and positioned itself in the rear of the Rhino. Dark Angels turn three shooting. The outflanking Javelin shot the Rhino in the back, put two hole points on it with the Heavy Bolter, and then finished it off with the Missile Launcher. It didn't explode, and the uh, troops inside have just dismounted from the left-hand side. Great news about Dark Angel shooting. I'm consistent. Every time I shoot a Rhino, I blow it up with my multi-melters. It then explodes and then kills everybody within uh, distance. In this case, it killed one of my jet bikers. Uh, fortunately, the jet bike squadron passed its leadership test, finally. Some great shooting there from the Dark Angels with the jet bikes and the Outriders. Uh, combined firepower, taking the unit of uh, Legionnaires down to just the Apothecary. I rolled fives, unfortunately, for the uh, monomolecular acid shells, and he went to ground, so uh, just one guy left. Continuing the Dark Angel shooting, the jet bike shot into the Volkite squad and did no wounds, followed up by the Outriders coming with their plasmas. I've done four wounds, however, the unit's gone to ground, and they've got to make six up saves. So I've got four saves to do. Uh, two guys are before the sergeant, so two six ups. They die, and then I'm gonna do two lookout saves on the sergeant. He takes the wounds for his six up, sergeant dies, and the other guy six up. It's fine, so the sergeant and two guys die. The Alpha Legion lost three wounds, uh, did a leadership test and passed, so they're fine at the moment. Now I'm gonna shoot the, the first siphon that's coming from Deep Strike against the, uh, the skimmer. However, because it is skimmer, I don't get the, the additional ballistic skill for strafing run. So hitting on threes, the last cannons, twin linked. Let's re-roll those. Two hits. Side armor 11, strength 9, so it's two stick lance. Two pens. Two four ups. One goes free. AP2. So six immobilized. I'm going to fire the missiles, the Xiphon missiles. Hitting on threes. 
one hit, and then I need a three stick lance. One pen. All right. Saved. This time the jinking as Zyphon's going to shoot the other javelin. He's not jinking. So rolling sixes to hit. Twin linked with the last cannon. Good call. <laughs> now with the missiles. Two missiles hitting on sixes. No hits. Epic turn three. Assault phase for the Dark Angels. Two bike squads charge into the apothecary and smashed his face in Hammer of Wrath. Uh, afterwards, I rolled a three for the jet bikes and a four for the regular bikes uh, for the consolidation. I'm uh, generally really happy with that uh, the round there. I've managed to clear the uh, the back left field of all Alpha Legion. I've managed to put a bit more pressure with the bikes up to the uh, the far end, and having taken out the Rhino at the back here, I'm uh, more than happy that I've got good pressure for the next turn. Alpha Legion turn four movement. The Neans have uh, deep struck into the back enemy lines, just trying to hold that back end, maybe receiving a charge the following turn. The veterans have just come around a little bit. They're going to try and shoot the javelin with the plasma gun, and the saboteurs moved up also, as he's going to shoot and charge. The Contempt of Dreadnought again has moved up, uh, just trying to get a bit closer to his bikes and jet bikes. Uh, the javelin this side has just moved over here to take some shots at his command squad. Uh, the Volkites, who have gone to ground, they're going to snap shoot the Outrider squad alongside the Carey's Contempt of Dreadnought. He's also going to have a good shoot at them as well. Alpha Legion, turn four shooting. The Volkite squad snap shot at the Outrider squad. They got a couple hits, but no wounds, unfortunately. The Carey's Contempt of Dread, however, got 10 hits. Uh, he's got to do seven normal saves and one AP2 save. Uh, can you do the seven saves normally, please? Seven three ups. Two die. And then one four up. So one guy left. The Dark Angel bike squad, having lost uh, two bikers, passed its leadership check. Fire number nine with the sergeant. The Alpha Legion Javelin is shooting at the command squad. Uh, multi motor first, hitting on twos, wounding on twos. One jink save, please. Jink save, look out, sir. Makes it. Jink save, four up. Fails it, so that's the banner dead. All right, the two cyclone missile launchers. Two hits. Two wounds, two jinx. Two, two, two armor ups. saves. He loses one wound. The Alpha Legion Contemptor Mortis Dreadnought snapshot his carries at the Xiphon. Uh, managed to hit twice, one penetrating hit. Uh, Wes did, decided not to jink, um, and I did a weapon destroyed result, destroying the last cannons. The immobilized javelin had a snapshot at the Xiphon with its melter and cyclones. Managed to hit it once and glance it, and Wes didn't decide to jink, so it's now destroyed. The Alpha Legion veterans fired their plasma gun into the javelin. He jinked. Uh, I managed to do one glancing hit, but the plasma gun killed himself in the process. The Linnaean Terminators fired their charges into the javelin. Managed to do two glancing hits, which Wes is about to make his jink saves on. Two four ups. Failed it. So it's gone. So finally, the Contemptor shot a melter gun into the Outrider squad, forcing Wes to jink. Um, unfortunately, my melter gun missed on the roll of a one, but they are now snapshotting, which is good news for me. Dark Angels turn four movement, a really quick one this time. So I've got the Chaplain and one jet bike who've left the table to come in and outflanking next turn. We've got the first two man's uh, bike squad that have moved up the table, and then the other one man bike squad hiding behind cover there, ready to take some snapshots. The, the flyers push forward a little bit further towards the Dreadnought in the far corner. Turn four shooting, the bike shot the back of the uh, Javelin Speeder. It put one hole point on it. It did get hot, but he managed to make his armor save. So we have one jink save to make. The jink save four up. Failed, so it's just taking a hole point. Second bike shot shot at the Javelin, putting two uh, potential glances. Just the, uh, the jink saves to make. Two four ups. Dead. Yeah, oh yeah. Dark Angels pressing home their shooting phase against the Dreadnought this time. The Xiphon's going to fire its two twin link glass cannons at it, hitting on twos. Two hits. Armor 13 on the front, so requiring fives to glance. Fours. No correction, fours. Two pens. Wow, two five up invulnerables. Both go through. Let's see what we get. AP2. Okay, so snapshots and a weapon destroyed. So one, two, three is the left one. 
So the right hand gun is gone and it's taking two whole points. I've also got the Xiphon missiles to fire him as well. Hitting on twos. One hit. Fives to glance. Nothing. Final bit of the shooting phase with the Dark Angels with the Sky Slayer firing the multi melter into the Dreadnought. Scared him a little bit, however, he missed on a two. Alpha Legion turn five movement. Just moved my veteran squad sort of into the middle and the saboteur as well, just to sort of consolidate my forces there. The Contempt of Dreadnought over near the Sky Slayer jet bikes moved a bit to try and get in his deployment zone, and then I'm going to shoot and charge him if necessary. Here, no movement here. They're just sort of lining up their shots at the Xiphon. Going to try and shoot him down. The Carey's Dread here is moved around to the side to get some shots on him as well. The Vicoit squad stayed still. They're going to be shooting at the two-man Outrider squad to the right. Alpha Legion turn five shooting. Combined forces from both Contempt of Dreadnoughts and the Javelin all snap shooting at the Xiphon. I haven't managed to do a thing to it, but I have forced him to jink, so he will be snap shooting the next turn. The Volkite squad have shot at the Outrider squad, the two man one. Uh, they've managed a few uh, hits, but only three wounds. Uh, so Wes just got to take three three ups. Loses one, and the flag rate roll get to try and wound again. So one more wound, please. On a three. Oh, oh both die. Wow, that is mega. The Alpha Legion Dreadnought shot its melter gun and bolter into the jet bike, uh, just causing no wounds. Uh, we went straight into the assault phase. Uh, Wes rolled a six to hit with his melter gun, but unfortunately didn't penetrate on his 2d6 penetration, rolling only a four. Uh, now we're going straight into the assault phase. Alpha Legion assault phase, turn five. The Dreadnought didn't do any wounds with his Hammer of Wrath, but he's now going to do his five attacks against the jet bike. Hitting on fours. It's four hit. Two's to kill. Definitely dead. So Contempt is going to consolidate away from the assault. Six inches. Alpha Legion turn five overview. Really happy with that turn in total. Managed to get rid of a few squads. Uh, the Dark Angels are really thin on the ground now. Only two units on the board with a couple more coming on from outflank. Um, I'm hoping to sort of capture this game in the bag now. I've got, currently got about six victory points in the backfield as I've got two scoring units and two denial units. So I'm quite comfortable with my victory point scoring um, and even the attrition as well. I think I've, I've got that in the bag. Not to be too of a brag. Sorry, Wes. <laughs> it's looking tough for the Dark Angels right now, that's for sure. You never know. <laughs> I can pull it out of the bag, we'll see. Dark Angels movement phase turn five. The great thing about not having too many models is it doesn't take too long to move them around. So first up, I've moved the Xiphon to try and get a cheeky shot at the saboteur. If I can destroy that guy, even though I'm snap firing, uh, that's uh, some points denial for the mission objective. Come around to the back of the board here. I've got a sneaky little jet bike coming from outflanking. Uh, he's going to try and take some pot shots at the Volkite squad. I've also moved up with the, the plasma biker to try and potentially charge those. It's kind of for the line. Fortune favours the bold. And the chaplains come in from the flank as well to try and get some additional shots on that squad. Dark Angel shooting phase, the Xiphon's going to shoot at the Saboteur. I jinked last turn, so I need sixes on the missiles to hit. No hits. So now I've got the last cannon, this is twin linked, so sixes. Twin linked. Oh yes! <laughs> got one. <laughs> Two's to wound. He right. wounds. So he's got a refractor field, so a five up in vulnerable, otherwise he's dead. Oh. Get out of town! Dead saboteur. The Dark Angel uh, outflanking jet bike has shot at the Volkite squad. I've rolled to see what AP the uh, monomolecular acid shells are. I have the AP1 this time, so how do you feel about this? Not very good. It's not very good. They're definitely going to ground. So three's to hit. Ooh. And now two's to wounds. That's cocked, I'll reroll that. Two wounds, AP1. The two six up cover saves, two dead. Loving that. Now for the chaplain to shoot at the same Volkite squad. I've rolled the AP and he's AP5 disappointingly, but he's hitting on twos. Three hits. Wounding on twos. Three wounds. Three three ups. Oh. Oh. Yeah, one dead. Now for the Dark Angels Outrider Sergeant to, uh, to continue pressing the, uh, the pressure onto the Legionnaires. Two shots. Hitting on threes. Twin linked, fortunately. 
Makes it, so two hits, wounding on twos. Two six ups. Two six ups both ground, so yeah, two dead Marines. Two more dead. One left. The Volkite squad took enough casualties to force a leadership test, but I managed to pass uh, rolling a seven. Now going to the Dark Angels assault phase, turn five. I survived the Overwatch and I've made the charge. The uh, biker has four attacks, uh, hitting on threes. Four. Correction, fours. Uh, now with the Rad Grenades dropping his toughness and the Caliber Light Warblade and give me a plus one to my strength, I'm now wounding on twos at AP3. There's one dead Marine. There's one dead Marine. Right, so the same initiative, I get my one attack back. So fours to hit. Uh, four, no, fives to wound, so no, no wounds. So he's dead, and I'm going to roll for my consolidation. I get a five. Dark Angels turn five. On the whole, I'm pretty happy with what I did. Uh, some big moves there to try and get as many uh, victory points as I possibly could. Uh, fortunately, I managed to take out the saboteur and the, uh, the unit that was in the backfield here with the Volkite with my firepower. Uh, so I'm really hoping now for uh, the, it to end at this point there. Otherwise, I think I might get annihilated if I go to turn six. The game is now potentially over. We need to roll to see if we go to a turn six. I would like it to go to a turn six because I'd like to try and take some models off the board. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure you don't. Yeah, I, I want some models left at the end of this one. Some dignity for the Dark Angels, at least. <laughs> so the four plus we're playing turn six. Oh. We're not. That's game. Good game. That's that done. Alpha Legion, Dark Angels. What a hell of a game, gents. Yeah, that was a great game. That's it was really good. Not a lot left on the board either. <laughs> Especially from the Dark Angels, but we still managed to press at home at the end. Yeah. Yeah, and the results are really, really tight. So scores at the moment are eight victory points to the Dark Angels. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, and then you're on six, is I'm that right? Six, yeah. But you get a D3 roll. I do, because of the Dark Angels special roll, which I don't know if you want to explain with. Yeah, it's the Covenant of Death. Essentially, the Dark Angels really like to destroy things really good. And if I don't do that, uh, if there are equal or more units left on table from the opposing tide, they get D3 extra victory mm -hmm. points. So... We're pretty much down to this roll right now. So, if I, so the way the, the which ones worked out, you both got five each for your scoring and all units in the yep. deployment zone. You both got Warlord each, which takes you to six. Mm -hmm. um, Where's you scored one for attrition? Yep. And then you scored one for martial hubris. Yeah, the Alpha Legion, if you basically cause attrition on, on my force, you get an additional victory point. So when you get attrition, you get two. Cool. So we're on eight six. Now Ben needs a three to four to draw. Yeah. A five to six to win. Yeah, and a one and two is a loss. So <laughs> all on oh. this dice roll. So are we ready? Yeah. Come on. Okay. Good luck. A oh! six. Oh! A six has been rolled. <laughs> Cheeky Alpha Legion. Steal it by a point. Cheeky. Yeah. That's what Alpha oh. Legion do best. Oh, they uh, oh. they take the win at the last <laughs> second. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Yeah. I would have been happy with a loss because it was an absolutely great game against a great opponent. Um, and we just killed each other to bits. It was great. Um, I'm really happy that I won, though. So, yeah. yeah, did really well. You know, where's your list? In models, it, it, it takes up a lot of ground. Yeah. But then when you drill down into those special rules, into the yeah. AP1, yeah. you know, we, sorry, we call them aspect shells right. while they're not there. Uh, the monomolecular acid shells. That's acid right. Shells. Yeah, yeah, if we got that wrong at the beginning. Um, it's a scary list. Mm, yeah, it's really uh, scary. There's a lot of firepower, but once you start losing units, you really start feeling it afterwards. And you see how quickly the turns are going, I think, so they don't really have much left. And mm. They still put quite a bit of firepower out, even though that's Yeah. Stage. I mean, they are really good. And like you said, when you start to lose units, they don't do as well, but it's really hard to kill whole units yeah. because of the high toughness, two plus save with a jinx, and you're going off pretty much every turn and coming back on outflank. It's really hard to kill a unit because when you go off you're coming back on and having a free shot without mm. any detriment yeah so yeah it's, it's a really really good army really tactical army but i also think as well ben being an alpha legion player mm. it was probably the best army to pit against these because you know you can sneak in and come out and go all over the place and i think it worked really well yeah i mean my alpha legion are quite maneuverable with the outflank and things like that um they do just come on where they want um they usually do well against fast armies mm. uh, because of that, because I think sometimes it, people underestimate them slightly. Um, and then with the Volkites and the Mortis Dreads at the back, putting out shots, it mm. sort of can trap them in the middle like a vice, sort of. 
sometimes. Your contender was a bit of a late bloomer in the game, yeah. wasn't it? Because he walked literally from one end of the ball to the other and then got your denial point at the end, yeah. which was fantastic, wasn't it? I really thought I had on the Overwatch where I got a six and I was like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> and roll a four when I just needed a five. Like, seriously, I just yeah. needed a break on that one. That would be great. There were some really spectacular moments in the game where Wes was blowing up Rhino, his left, right, yeah. and centre, and then the Rhino exploded and then took out what three models from yeah. one of your guys. At the and end. That happened twice as well. Yeah, he killed one of your one in each of your squad <laughs> around it and one of my guys, and then the next one he did, he killed another one of your guys. In fact, I think I probably lost more dudes by them blowing up <laughs> rhinos, a few rhinos. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, you, you got to stay a bit further away. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> they're <laughs> right in there with the dark. Ages. They're too effective, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so Wiz we'll start with you um, you've brought back your uh, command squad is that right? yeah that's command squad with the uh, the HQ units in there uh, first turn they put a huge amount of firepower down yeah. and wiped out that unit of Volkite guys and, and with your HQ yeah. and they died pretty much quickly after that but the reason I brought them back is just for how much Ben's bottom lip wobbled on that. <laughs> I just really wish I really wish we'd had that one on camera that was a brilliant moment it was painful <laughs> it hurt it literally did hurt. You killed my probably my favourite unit and the warlord alongside yeah. it. Yeah, that, that hurt a lot. And, yeah. I, and I'll be honest, when I saw that squad guy, I thought, you know, <laughs> yeah, Ben's not going to pull this one back. But, you know, look at the position we're in now. It's just phenomenal. But that is a big, scary squad. Lots of rules, lots of feel no pain. You know, that chaplain's really good in the unit. It, it's such a scary, big unit. Yeah, I was really hoping to get in combat as well because it's... Uh... Mm. They're Dark Angels, they're, they're Knights, and that's kind of what I want to yeah. go and charge with these guys and go in combat. Unfortunately, he, he uh, stopped me from doing that by annihilating them off the table. <laughs> you did a great job. Yeah. And Ben, you brought back your Saboteur. Yeah, I, I, I mean, my whole army, I, I couldn't really single out any one unit that did like really well. I think they all did well, hmm. uh, but nothing sort of stood out to me. So I brought the Saboteur back because he is my favourite unit. He's my favourite model. Um, recently built and painted by Dan Wheeler. Thank you very much again. Um, <laughs> He just does, he usually does really well. This game didn't do great. He only, I think he just glanced the javelin. Mm. But usually, I mean, his kill tallies are like three fire raptors, a couple Spartans, wow. land raiders galore, and just bits of bobs here and there. Um, yeah, he does really well, and I really love him. Yeah, it's a great model to come back, and he's, and he's really well painted. So again, you know, Dan did a, did a great job there. Um, not really much else to say. Uh, now, Wes is here because he contacted me, sent me an email, Want to come on the channel? Got a really cool army. Got back to him straight away. Yep, away we go. So, Wes, thank you so much for doing that. I thank you for me. And you've put up a fantastic fight. Yeah. Um, we'd love you both back. Yeah. Maybe against you again or different separate games, but we'd love you both back. Absolutely. Uh, and again, you know, if you've got an army that looks good and is a unique build, I don't think I've ever seen this army anywhere else at the moment. Then please get in touch. We'd love to have you on. Um, we've taken a lot of photos today. Yep. So go to the Facebook page. Have a look at those. Um, I hope you're enjoying the website. I hope it's running really well for you. There's plenty of games on there at the moment. You know, this game's come out in January and there's probably quite a lot on there by now. So plenty to get your teeth into. Um, now, Ben, we can follow you on Instagram. Is that right? Yep, at Omega Alpharius. Fantastic. And as I said earlier, you know, Ben does all the social media for the channel. So please go to his uh, Instagram and give him a like and, uh, and a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. Um, Where's... Again, thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Appreciate really it. great job. Cheers. Good game. Again. Ben. Oh, sorry. That's Cheers, all right. Man. Awkward. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. We had a great fun filming it. And we will see you in the next game. Uh.